parliaments all over the world throw their doors open to the public to give us an idea about what they do. Ever wondered what it's like inside the European Parliament? Time to take a closer look. A staggering 300,000 people from across the globe visit the Parliament every year. But remember, you can't just queue up and walk in. You have to book well in advance if you want to get in on a guided group tour to see the chamber. I'm here with an English-speaking group, but tours can be in any of the EU languages, and they can be organised by any private or public organisation. Hello, and welcome to the Parliament. Are you ready for your guided tour? You've got to take this device. It'll help you throughout the guided tour in your language. There you go. But hurry up, dear. The lecture's about to start. Follow your group over there. OK, great. Thank you. Time for a bit of learning. Once settled in your seat, an hour-long presentation on the EU. Here, groups learn about the interplay between institutions and the power structure inside Parliament. A moment also for a quick look out from the visitor's balcony. From here, you can see all the hustle and bustle down below. Oh my god, isn't that that girl from Europol TV? It's the only point at which visitors get to see what we all do down here. But over to the main attraction, the plenary chamber. Guides are on hand to explain what the parliament is and what MEPs do. We get a lot of young people coming to visit the uh, European Parliament, a lot of people that are interested in politics and, and, and when they actually can see the chamber with their own eyes, people often are, are amazed at the size of it, the scale of it, but also the number of languages that are used. But remember, the official seat of the Parliament is in Strasbourg, so of course visits take place there too. And sometimes you can even catch the MEPs in action at the plenary if you book at the right time. In Strasbourg, people can mingle and walk around the Parliament more freely, but still access is limited. That's why in 2011, the Parliamentarium opened its doors in Brussels. Hello and welcome to the Parliamentarium. How many of you? Oh, just the one. OK, we'll take this guide. Just go that way and enjoy the tour. In typical EU style, it caters for all 24 languages. Yeah. Which language would you like? English. English, no problem. OK, there you go, that's all done. Remember to put the strap on and that's your earpiece. Thanks. It's pretty high-tech stuff indoors with lots of interactive tools to help you learn about Europe past and present. Oh, it's the Nobel Peace Prize is also kept here. But probably one of the fun things for younger visitors is the role-play game. Here they get to step into the shoes of MEPs, deciding for themselves whether the EU should have water solidarity or if it's OK to use chip implants. But also the Parliamentarium holds temporary exhibitions, like this one from a fashion college in Madrid, representing it says harmony and integration in Europe. And at the end of your visit you can even leave a comment. So that's pretty much a wrap for what's on offer, but in the future... The Parliament is also in the midst of building the House of European History. It should be ready for visitors by 2015. And what stories of Europe will that tell? Well, that's another story.